Welcome to our quantum biofeedback and bioresonance adductor technology presentation. Uh, our presentation today will be uh, will include two parts: presentation and demonstration demo. My name is Jacqueline Jacques. I have more than 33 years of experience as manager, management consultant, business consultant. I have been a quantum biofeedback and bioresonance practitioner for more than 14 years, uh, as I have was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I became also a coach and trainer in quantum biofeedback and bioresonance over the, the last 11 years now, founder of and owner of Bioquantic Soul in Geneva and Bioquantum in Canada. Uh, I am more active in, in Geneva, I need to say and president of the Helping the World Association in Geneva. The objective of this presentation is mainly we will present the main characteristics and functionalities of a doctor, uh, which is, uh, I consider, the most efficient quantum biofeedback and bioresonance technology on the market today. If you would like to have some detailed video, short video, you will uh, have, we, you can go to our uh, YouTube channel. We will talk about that at the end if necessary. Uh, the Adductor Quantum Technology has been designed by Professor Bill Nelson after four, more than 40 years of research in the world of bioenergetics. Their purpose is to detect and reduce stress at all levels, physical, mental, emotional, social, environmental, etc. And what is important for us is that our quantum technologies are not designed to diagnose or treat a disease. They treat the stress that caused the disease. So anybody with a disease should be treated by a licensed uh, health professional. The agenda, part one, basic, we will present the basic concept, uh, scientific concept, the foundation of a doctor, and part two will be a demo of the main program and functionality of, the, of a doctor with the device. So the part two will be separate uh, in the different recording. Part one, so the basic concept of, and foundation. So the basic principle of our device, the main premise of bioresonance and biofeedback technologies and therapies are, first, the energetic body is the matrix of the physical body. So if we hear the energetic blockage and the, bio, uh, and, uh, and the biochemistry of the body will automatically change. Well, I should not say automatically, but will change, okay? So we hear the energetic blockage and the biochemistry change. This will be uh, described and we will have all the foundation scientific for that. The body is electrical in nature, therefore reactivity to stressors in the body can be measured electrically. So health can be measured. So this is absolutely wonderful. Uh, again, this will be all explained. The body is innately intelligent and can heal itself if the right condition or stimuli or frequencies are provided. And then finally, the electromagnetic frequencies or microcurrents can be used to reestablish the electrical and biochemical functions of the body to restore the integrity of the tissues and promote healing. So the basic or main the scientific foundation of our inductor is first to understand the science of stress, then quantum physics, then quantum biology, then bioresonance, biofeedback, the energetic and electric body. So those are all the scientific foundation. In this presentation, we will just present a few of those principles. All can be uh, explained and all information is available for anybody who would like to go a little bit deeper in those topics. So the science evolves. Before, the, we, we used to, I would say, accept you know, with, uh, and work and, and, and live according to the physics of Newton. Okay, everything is physical. All can be measured and quantified. Only what is measurable and reproductible by experience is accepted. To treat a sick person, we need to test, blood test, MRI, to diagnose the disease. We need pills, vaccine, physical treatment, like surgery, uh, to, help, uh, to help the client or patient. So today we have quantum physics. When I say today, I should say we are a little late. 
says quantum physics has been discovered since 1930s. So matter has a dub double nature, corpuscular, like a particle like, and vibratory, like wave-like. So we are all energy. So we have, uh, you know, this, uh, I would say, nature of corpuscular and vibratory also ourselves. The observer effect. The observer influences what he observes. We create our own reality. Objective science is an illusion. So you need to understand that all those principles that I am affirming, all of this has been proven by the quantum physics expert, okay? Including Einstein, who was involved with the, with the quantum physics. So uh, I affirm things, but all this can be proved. So objective science is an illusion because the observer influences what he observes. Okay, and this, again, has been proven. Quantum leap, a change of state, does not happen in a continuous way, but by step. A change of condition is possible, always, you know, as a quantum leap. And i like to give an example of a quantum leap. Like miracle, people go to pilgrimage, and then they are in a wheelchair, and whoops, they can stand up. This is what we call a quantum leap. We call it miracle, but in fact, it's a quantum leap. Uh, things do not repeat. We are unique. Not one treatment fits all. Matter is not what we think. We are made of atoms, and atoms are made almost exclusively of electrons, protons, and neutrons. The outer area of any atom and molecule is made of electrons. So the electrons have a very strong electric charge, so strong that two electrons can almost never touch the energetic charge will repel them. So no atom ever touches uh, an, any other atom. We have all learned this in our training in, in, in chemistry at school. No molecule ever touches another molecule. So the, our question is, what hold everything together? So those are electromagnetic fields. So everything is held together through energetic quantum electrostatic magnetic and other subatomic forces. All of life is mostly electrons and protons that never touch, but only interact through electromagnetic fields. These are the basic forces of electricity also applicable to human. So matter as our body appears to be solid because these forces are so strong. So we cannot touch anything, but just interact with energy field. So even you're not able to touch uh, the chair on, on which you, you are sitting. Okay, It's mainly an interaction with the energy field. So matter and energy. The body is not solid, but instead is made up mostly of, of energetic field. The body is 0.00001% of matter. We are 99.9999 energy field, or full of energy information fields. So one additional proof that something is happening at the uh, energetic uh, level. It is proven that 98% of, of, of the atom of our body are replaced every year, 100% every seven years. So our atoms are ever-changing then how come the disease persists? So it is the field holding the information of the disease that persists. So to treat a disease, we need to treat the information contained in those electromagnetic field or energetic body. And we had Tesla who uh, invite us to look at all those frequencies and vibration. Our understanding is that an energy exchange between atoms occurs before chemical reaction in the body. So the new quantum biology now. So that is a very wonderful uh, to say that all those quantum physics principles, you know, bring a new understanding of uh, biology that we call quantum biology. So the new vision of man, all humans are, con are a conglomerate of electromagnetic oscillating energy. We are vibrational electromagnetic beings. So what we see, the physical body, represents less than 1% of our whole being. The rest, 99.999, is energetic electromagnetic field. 
So we are more immaterial than material. The energetic body is the matrix of the physical body. Through balancing the energetic body, the chemistry of the whole body will change. And what is important is that uh, Amit, Dr. Amit Goswami, uh, who is a quantum physicist, said that the body is only a representation of what is contained in those energetic electromagnetic field. So uh, intercellular communication, cells transmit and receive energy or information. They communicate by electromagnetic signal. Intercellular communication allows the cell and organ to exchange vital information about the general functioning of the body. Each function or organ has its own vibrational frequency range. Electromagnetic frequencies, microcurrents, can be used to re-establish the electrical and biochemical functions of the body to restore the integrity of the tissue and promote healing. So here we will show a, a, an example of frequential signature. We say here, each body, cells, and organs has, has its own frequential signature. I give here some examples. This is all taken from all those, uh, this reference here. Uh, this is not uh, our organization that talk about those frequencies. Those have been measured, you know, all over by many, many, many scientists, okay? Disease, each disease has its own frequential signature. And uh, uh, Raymond Reif uh, did a lot of work in this area. And we have all those type of frequencies for all the disease. We have all the book. You, we can share all this information with you. It is just wonderful. So intercellular communication by resonance. To communicate the body cells and organs vibrate at a specific frequency. They resonate. They communicate by resonance. So what is resonance? Here I say an image is worth thousands of words. Why? Because I will give you an example of what it happened. So just see here. So we have, I don't have the, the sound, so hopefully at home you will be able to put. Because so what we do here is, is that somebody just working with some metronome, and you will see that without touching, they will just realign because they speak or they communicate in between. It's like, you just imagine it is, those are cells in the body, in, 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 let's say in the liver, okay? And then you will see that the uh, foam here, you know, the, the table, you know, where they are, you know, allows some communication. And what is important is our body allows this type of communication also. So this is wonderful. And you will see it will take only two minutes. Two minutes for all those, uh, I think there are 32 of those uh, metronomes that they will allow, align. So uh, look at that. We have already, you know, good, good, you know, alignment. And you can see. At the end, you will see that there is one that is a little bit stubborn here, okay, somewhere. So I will not spend too much time on that. You have the reference. I would appreciate that you take the time to look at that because it is wonderful. It is a phenomenon that is very uh, important for us to understand, okay? So, so this is what is wonderful. And then we have the communication by resonance. So when this capacity of resonating to a specific frequency is perturbed by stress, the resulting frequency of the whole body is also perturbed. The cell lose their capacity to heal and self-regenerate. This results often in various trouble and in many cases in disease. So too much stress equals disease. When our cells vibrate at a higher level, we experience health. The body is functioning at its highest. When the frequency of our cells is low because of stress, our cells are weak. We become vulnerable to disease. Disease is found in cells that do not vibrate, that are not charged, that are not energized. Disease is the result of an energy that vibrates at a wrong frequency. So stress is important. So managing the physiological response to stress is critical to our health. Stress is a disease of the century, okay? And look at all the organs that are impacted when we have stress. 
through the parasympathetic and sympathetic and the vagus nerve. So our portable holistic medical clinic, Skio Eductor. Skio is the previous uh, generation. Eductor is the last uh, generation of our device. I have been working with this for 14 years now, and it is just wonderful. What does the Skio Eductor actually do? Energetic scan. So the Skio Eductor scan your body like a virus scan on a computer looking for everything for viruses, deficiency, weaknesses, energy, abnormality, dysfunction, vulnerabilities, and food sensitivity. And the treatment, there is a part or a function of treatment or therapy uh, um, assisted by computer that send healing frequencies to help the body to self-regulate. So how does the skew reductor work? The skew reductor perform an energetic scan of the body reading the physical and emotional vibrational uh, vibration of the body from his or her electric body through harnesses and then increase the vibration and frequency of the cell, raising the body vibratory level at its healthy, healthy level. So those are all the energetic health parameters that we can uh, measure energetically. Okay, so you will have a look at that. It's just wonderful. And then some energetic therapies, and I put in red energetic therapies to make sure that you understand that we are working energetically, okay, with, with frequencies. And then we have, again, some more that we can look at all those uh, therapies, okay. And then our model of treatment, we have an energetic scan that allows us to assess the energetic bio, bioenergetic terrain, we have stress, we can design stress profile, physical, mental, emotional, environmental, social. And then we send energetic harmonization to help the body to self-regulate because the body is intelligent. And those who, the user of the device, you know, doctor, allergologue, sorry, allergologue, I, I guess it's a thing, you know, French, it's not all uh, translate, I think doctors, herborists, reflexologue, or reflexology therapists, energy therapists, okay? You know, all those, uh, you know, uh, I would say help uh, people, you know, either in uh, as doctor or as um, therapist, you know, alternative medicine uh, therapist. And what is important is a private user here. Because, you know, a user like me, this is what I did. I just bought the device for myself. Balancing the stress causing disease. Here are some of the disease that has been, uh, I would say, tested, uh, you know, not tested, you know, where, where, where we have worked with the stress that have created the disease for some client, um, that th those disease has been, uh, I would say, diagnosed by medical, uh, conventional medical doctors. So people or client came with their diagnosis and we work on stress. And there were, there were more than 97,000 clients, 2,000 uh, practitioners that had been involved for a couple of years, I think. And then uh, all this information is gathered in some uh, results. So you are welcome to inquire and get this information from us. And then the application. So we can use our device with adults, with children, you know, more than three years, animal, plants, anything. For children with, who are a little bit less uh, younger, we can use uh, the uh, hair or we can work with the mother. And contraindication and precaution of, of uh, use, we have the contraindication, which is pregnant woman and pacemaker or any uh, electronic device. This is normal. It's pure protection for the electronic devices. Pregnant woman is that if ever the person might lose her baby, if ever, and they come back to us and say, well, this is because of your uh, session, we will not be able to prove that it is not us, okay? So it's just a very much a precaution because there is no danger for any of the baby. Many women who bought the device for themselves, they will do a lot of session on themselves while they are pregnant. The precaution of, of, of use is mainly uh, if, if you don't know or if the practitioner does not know how to, uh, to deal with all those, uh, I would say, case 
Well, we should not do it. So it's just a, to be pre, uh, conscious, okay? Electro-hypersensitive people, like electro-smog sensitive, uh, existing skin problem where we need to, to put the harness, a history of mental health problem. We just need to be careful with that, like schizophrenia, things like that. We, you know, we, we can work, but if we do not know it, we are not a specialist or a psychologist, you know, we just need to be careful. And any intoxicated client or patient, for sure, if we are working in the detox clinic, well, this is a wonderful tool. But if we do not know, we just be careful with that, okay? And then we will do our part to the, you know, the, our uh, uh, demo uh, in a separate uh, video. So I will just jump uh, over this part. You are welcome to see the video. And then, so the demo will talk about the demographic, how we record the client, how we calibrate, how the computer will connect with the client. Then we will look at the test, how we test, and we will show a demo of some various functionalities. Okay, short demo also are available on uh, our YouTube uh, channel, which is on for BioCantum World in English. And then uh, we have many of those videos already done, uh, uploaded. Some other videos that need still to, to come. And uh, then this is just uh, wonderful to have, the, you know, five minute videos here and there on topic that is interesting for you. And uh, we have some wonderful training program, uh, which is theoretical, practical program. Um, that is some biofeedback certificates or the certificate of bioresonance. We have some uh, uh, quantum biofeedback and bioresonance uh, skill reductor really to work on the device and then to learn. And then for the new project of uh, 2020, we want to have our own Academy Bioquantum for a customer and client education and many to help transition the uh, conventional uh, therapists and doctors into uh, integrative medicine. And I would like to uh, say that we will, in uh, after the demo on the uh, demo, I will include what are the benefits for the uh, for the for the, the therapist of the doctor or the uh, whoever will use those device. Um, I, I would like that to talk about those benefits once you have seen the device. Okay. So that is something, and those are my all my details. You are so welcome to write and to uh, communicate with me, and then I will be more than pleased to uh, assist you and to answer the question, and if required, you know, to do a demo on through internet. And also, I would like to inform you that we, by one thing, we are sponsored at international events, mainly in. Uh, this uh, AI in Medicine Summit in uh, Basel, Switzerland. We will attend the mega success in uh, Anaheim, California. And we have many, many other events that we participate, but those are the two main. So this is the end of my uh, first uh, short video. And then uh, we will go into the demo. And if we have more specialized uh, I would say uh, presentation and recording and videos mainly on anti-aging, on brain stimulation, on AI, and you know, you know, on how to work on the PSD trauma and all those things. So we have plenty of those uh, uh, of those I would say specialized video. Okay, thank you so much for. Uh, and then I hope this presentation has been interesting for you.